Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and today I have an interview with Igor Mak, who is originally from Ukraine but now works as a data scientist in London. So it's a great chance to ask some questions about data science. If you are interested in this topic, please continue watching. Uh, hi Igor, how are you and how is the weather in London? Hi Anna, uh, all good, all good. So everything is fine. Yeah, today it was quite warm, like 15, something like that. Yeah. I guess this interview is especially interesting because you work abroad. So my first question is, could you please shortly describe your way from a graduate of CNEL, this economical <laughs> university in Ukraine, to a data scientist in London? So initially, yeah, at first, so I was studying, uh, it was, yeah, it was Kyiv National Economic University, but my major was economic cybernetics. So we already had there some things related to computer science, like we learned their uh, our programming language and we were encouraged to learn more things too. So yeah, when I was <clears throat> like in my, like my, my last year in the university, I was already learning some Python and I was uh, trying to code some minor things. Uh, yeah, I was uh, doing some tasks on Code Academy. So after that, uh, it was kind of easier to me to jump into that field and, and especially because of the some knowledge of statistics and model modeling so yeah after that uh, me like my friend and me we had some like little pet project and after that um, when i when i applied to the data science um, jobs so I already had some experience and I, I was quite comfortable in with like data processing and stuff yes yes thanks actually it was my question about your projects uh, your project calls you you analyze right this tool is oh, relating right, yeah. to the probability of uh, winning a football team right uh, yeah so at the moment it calculates the outcome of uh, the game uh, every game, like yeah. So basically, as for as of now, we have the probability of win, draw, and uh, whether the team will lose. So you have like three outcomes at the moment. Yeah. So this is uh, one of the uh, things that we have on our website. So along with the general like scores and tables and and also mm -hmm. analytic tools. How much time did you spend to create this thing? Uh, so my friend and me, like, it actually took us a while. It took us like more than a year, like mm -hmm. uh, roughly all together. It took us more than two years, to be honest. But yeah, so as usually as it goes, usually you do something, then you pivot to something else, and then you come up with new ideas. And yes, yeah, so in this case, actually, yeah, it took us a while, and it still takes a lot of time, to be honest. But yeah when it's quite enjoyable to do that yeah it looks amazing <laughs> i saw your profile on instagram and okay so when you was looking for a job so do you observe any differences um between data scientist job requirements in ukraine and in the united kingdom i mean are companies in these countries uh looking for the specialist with the same skills mm, so uh, my path was a bit different and straightforward because uh like the company i'm currently working for it was the client of one of the outsourcing companies in ukraine i was working so so basically uh yeah so i was already working for that company as like that was like our client uh for like mm -hmm. two years and after that so i knew the whole team i knew all the projects and yeah after that i just like moved directly like from one company to another but what i can see here um usually in the uk from what i can see like most of the companies they require um, specialists who can manage like and and like cycles from like uh, in, when it's, it comes to machine learning usually people expect you to have some like skills in of course, like to have more skills in like in general software engineering, in order to build an APIs to ex in order to expose your model as a service, something like that. So basically, it's uh, 
when it comes to the title of machine learning engineer, you need to know uh, a lot more than just like playing with the data and transforming something. Yeah. So basically, you also in this case, people need to learn how to deploy models, how to uh, be comfortable with some uh, more like more advanced like Python skill. Mm -hmm. I see. And what are your job responsibilities like data scientists? What do a data scientist do? Like maybe you can generalize some tasks or something like this. In the company I'm currently working for, in and uh, it's uh, we have a lot of different tasks. So we build recommender models. We build some predictors, uh, like model. Then we also uh, had some reinforcement learning tasks in order to help marketing te marketing team and like site experience team to build uh, like more effective welcome landing pages there are a lot of different projects and tasks and, and usually in our team uh, every machine learning engineer uh, is responsible for the whole project so usually we work either one or two uh, people on the same project and uh, that means that whoever is works works for like on the current on the current project so they are responsible uh, from the very beginning when you need to analyze that data and to the end to actually to deliver this model to expose it as, as it can be like a lot of ways you can expose it as an api a service or you can just uh, if it's a batch model a daily batch model you can just uh, send it to some database like or some like storage, like you, you can, it, it can be either Google Cloud, GCP, or it can be Amazon S3 bucket. So uh, it depends on the, requ on the requirements. Since we are working with a lot of teams it can be in uh, the same company. So each team can have different requirements. And basically our M ML team, uh, we adjust to that requirements. And basically we so delivered the you are as a yeah. specialist uh, combine not only data scientist skills <laughs> yeah and yeah, yeah. I, I would i guess so because i because from my perspective data science is just more broader term for uh, everything mm -hmm. and yeah and it just like it, it includes for like from my perspective it just includes machine learning uh, engineering uh, itself yeah Cool. So, and you already said some words, but uh, I saw some, these questions many times, and I want to ask you again: uh, What role does statistics play in your work? Like, I mean, how often do you use it, and is it really so necessary? Mm. <clears throat> it's it's actually is yes, it's it is extremely necessary uh, uh, when people do exploratory data analysis, yeah, in order to understand the problem. It's much better uh, when person knows uh, about some statistics, and people need to plot a lot of data and to ch to check the distributions. And usually, when people for like from statistics knowledge, people can spot some different behaviors in data, and people can understand that uh, if this, the distribution looks in a certain way there can be uh, like easier or like solutions to, for that problem. Yeah, so that's why uh, it's actually, it's really important to be honest, like to, and at least to understand some basic things like uh, some basic distributions, uh, like normal distribution, of course, like then and, and et cetera, yeah. Uh, okay, and like my, my last question, how do you think, what are the most, um, promising areas for data scientists i mean what data scientists should learn um, or where do they where should they work to be in demand in five or ten years maybe some fields like blockchain or <laughs> cybersecurity, something like this it's really like good but difficult question because uh, all areas uh, like the areas you mentioned like cybersecurity or blockchain specialists in that area are really in demand right now and I don't think I don't, don't see, see any reason uh, when like for instance cybersecurity like, uh, area will like decline or something like that but uh, I guess like for at least for cybersecurity it uh, requires 
a lot of knowledge and quite advanced knowledge, not only like in data science, but in networking and like more like software stuff. So, yeah, but blockchain, yeah, I guess it's going to be on rise too, to be honest, because it looks like there are no signs of declines. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Like